Hey, welcome to another episode of Beers, Jack and Barbecue. Today we're gonna do something that I've never done before. I've actually never done a turkey on my Kamala, the Big Joe out there, but I'm gonna try a rotisserie. So look some up um, on what to do because again, it's a big bird and was making sure it's gonna work. Um, so um, the Kimono Joe channel just did one. Um, his is a little bit different than what we're gonna do today, but uh, we also split the firebox out there, which I'll show you on what we did with that, basically just putting the coals to the back of the grill. Uh, because it's going to cook for quite a while, I didn't want it over the fire the entire time, so just half the bird will rotate over the fire. Um, or I should say the entire bird, but only on half the fire, so it won't be so bad. Um, season it with some pork barrel season it, which is something I always use. Get that at Costco. We always put that in our outline, what we use. And uh, put, it on the, uh, put it on the rotisserie bar. I tied up the wings so they don't flop around. Um, this was actually a butterball turkey. So the, the legs were already trusted within the skin itself. So I'm hoping those are going to stay put through the entire cook. So we'll take this out in the grill and show you what's going on. All right, so we're out of the grill. Um, I don't think we can see it on the, on the film right now. It's good to, to see how I split the box. We'll take a picture of it to show you what it looks like. I'm going to try to keep the grill right around 300 degrees on the thermometer, which is in the front of the lid. Now I'm figuring about 325 in the back is what I'm guessing to do. So I'm going to throw the bird on now. Got it centered pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to start the uh, rotisserie up. I'm going to sprinkle a little more seasoning on it. Not too much. A uh, couple spots that look like a little moisture got on it with it sitting. I think uh, one little spritz here is going to do it pretty good yet. All right, so like I said, we expect three to four hours for this. Um, we'll give you some updates on time, and uh, I'm going to leave it go as long as I can without taking a peek, but uh, we'll let you know what we did later. All right, so I want to check it. Um, it's running about an hour and 45 minutes right now. Uh, fought some flames early on. So I want to see what this looks like in a breast here just to get some readings. I'm sorry, we're in the thigh right now, but it's actually cooking pretty nice there. You turn it around. <clears throat> See if we can show a reading here. The work is way down. It looks like 115 right there. So got some more time to go, but it's looking good. Um, like I said, I fought some flames early on. Ended up putting a deflector plate kind of into this to avoid some of the drippings going right onto the reflector plate. I actually see a wing is actually touching the reflector plate, but I think we're going to be okay as far as as far as that goes. <clears throat> like I said my first time doing such a big bird. Um, worst case scenario, I can always tie that wing up um, if it's a problem, but like I said, it looks like just one edge of a wing is just touching the, the deflector plate. So I'm uh, going to close it up again, and uh, we'll be back maybe another hour to check things out. Grill's running right around 300, and that's kind of what I was shooting for today. All right, so we're going to pull the turkey off now. It's almost four hours that it's been on for a 20 pound turkey, which is just about right. The temperature held right around 300 for the whole time. I mentioned that when we checked it at two hours that I was fighting with this one a little bit. Um, I had a lot of flames early on. Um, it is a large bird and I think that's part of the issue. I had the wings tied up with all the flames. It actually burned the string off. I had to retie it up so I actually had to pull it off, do that. As I mentioned in the beginning, the, the legs themselves were actually tucked into the skin and I actually, uh, those actually broke out. So I had to pull it off a second time and retie the legs up. But as you can see, I think I won. The bird was beating me early, 
but I won. So right now it's right at 161 in the breast. Um, everything else is reading higher than that. So um, as you can see, like I said, it's really looking nice. But this was a battle. Going forward, I don't know if I do a 20 pounder on the rotisserie again, unless I just tied everything down completely. Um, like I said, it was quite a battle with this one. I opened a grill more than I normally would because of the issues I was having. I didn't want to have it because at one point when the legs popped out of the skin, it actually stopped the rotisserie from turning. So luckily I caught it pretty quickly. Um, and like I said, overall, I think it's going to be good. But take it inside, cut it up, show you what it looks like, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, like I said, going to pull it off now. But it looks really nice. All right, as always. Okay, so today was something different. Tried a 20 pound turkey on the rotisserie. Um, did have its challenges. I think the bird is probably a little big for what I was doing. Um, if I did it again, I'd tie everything up to make sure nothing flopped off. Um, initially had the wings tied back. Um, had a little flame early on, which actually burned the string, so I actually had to retie those. And the legs were actually tucked back into the skin of in the front of the bird, and that actually broke free, so I actually ended up had to stop again to tie the legs up. Um, overall, though, I think um, the turkey looks good. I'm going to cut into it and see what we look like. From what I can see, everything looks really good right now. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's showing on camera, but everything is really tender, really juicy. So, next time we do a turkey, I'm going to do it spatchcock style, um, just to try it differently, but this one's probably a little big to do rotisserie. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel. Contact us over the email, leave comments, and as always, we'll leave an outline of everything we did today. So we'll see you next time.